without further ado, viewers, I'd like to introduce to you Nabajit Sharma and Dibhankar Malik. Hello. So welcome to Good Morning Northeast. Hello. And thank you so much for taking out your valuable time, taking out time from your busy schedules. First of all, I'd like to know, you're, you guys are a part of a band? Yeah, we are from a band called Blue Wings, as you know it. Right. And basically, Blue Wings was formed in 2011, November. So it was uh, at that time when we basically, initially we were like a classic hard rock kind of band. We, right. we used to play Bonzo with Def Leppard kind of stuff. And then later on we realized, let's let's do something new. Let's let's play, because the Guwahati back then didn't have had that, uh, you know, like the Hindi rock kind of scene. It right. has basically the Hindi, they were Hindi bands, but Hindi rock, Hindi hard rock, there was, there was no band. Because usually when we say Hindi, we usually think of Bollywood. Yeah, exactly. You know? so that was the stereotype thinking, right. you know, like. So, uh, you know, right now, I'd just like to know, you said your band, you formed your band in the year 2011. Yeah, 11. Right. So I'd like to know, you know, what was the thought behind the name Blue Wings? And since you both are a part uh, of the band, I think we could hear both of your renditions of the uh, story. Blue Wings, uh, basically, back then, it was that moment when it was time for the uh, for naming the band. and right. like. You have no idea what will be the name, right? So basically, I was I used to watch a lot of Hollywood movies. So basically, there was this movie, I forgot the name. So there was this blue angel coming up. And that angel are basically the hero, that guy, actor. So he used to uh, tell the, the other people in the movie that, that blue wings angel is coming up. So basically, that blue wings, and she was uh, like, she was really pretty, that okay, red, red, okay. Uh, angel. So basically, I was like, okay, let's stick to that name, yeah? Like... Let's see what happens. And your band members also agreed to it? Yeah, they agreed. So basically, let's keep Blue Wings. And it also goes out with the whole, you know, like scenario. Like we play soft numbers and then also really heavy numbers. So basically, that we need to balance the name, right? right. So basically, Blue Wings, it goes with the heavier and the soft numbers, you know. So it, it matches, you know. Okay, so I mean, so that's very interesting because I think every band usually has a particular genre and yeah. they stick to it. Yeah. But here you're saying that you play the soft and yeah. also the really heavy. That's that's interesting. How do you how do you actually manage? Like you said, you want to strike a balance. So yeah. how do you do that? Yeah, like uh, this this is really interesting thing that a lot of people ask. Even in yesterday's show, they were like people who were asking. So basically, what happens? Even if you see our YouTube pages and all, you'll see like uh, we uh, we always strike. We are not genre slaves like uh, as a band. So Basically, we don't follow a particular genre, but yes, we have our own tastes. So basically, we go out with uh, like what we love, really, what we agree of listening to. But again, we try experimenting a lot of things because you see, uh, uh, this is India after all. So basically, people will be there who will be lo loving soft numbers. Right. And there are like uh, if, if there's hundred uh, out of hundred people, there will be at least. 80 people who are loving that soft kind of melodic kind of thing. So basically, we just stuck to that. And again, there are heavy numbers for our rock and roll fans. So basically, those kind of, we're just balancing the whole thing, you know? Okay, it's, okay. And, and what you like, does that change? Has that changed, you know, with different phases of your life? Um, you know, at uh, one particular phase, you let's say you liked the soft, and then at a particular phase, you liked the rock, heavy metal. That's, that, that's a really good question, you know? Like, uh, yes, there were... Um, we we launched an album in 2013 so basically 15 2015 we broke up as a band because we had our own like personal things so going on so basically we 2015 to 2017 we are unavailable so basically okay. uh, those mo uh, time like uh, i i almost gave up on music so there was uh, those kind of uh, there was some music that uh, came up to my mind and like uh, even my fiance she used to uh, make me listen to songs you know like those kind of soft numbers so basically those kind of song uh, song stuck to us and those are like okay TK, so this will be like in our next music segment and those are the songs that inspired us you know like 30 seconds to mars this band i discovered that band during those depressive time of mine so 30 seconds to mars really gave me a boost you know like uh, okay. to follow your dreams and all so again we are back again and again so then depending on the kind of experiences you were going through your taste in music yeah, was also yeah, changing very yeah. flexible and like you said yes india is a country where people have different types of tastes yeah. and diversity so, right yeah. we're, we're a very diverse country yeah. and so you have to be <coughs> versatile as a music band yeah. as well i like what you said you know you're not slaves of yeah. genre i yeah. think usually we don't hear that very often but i but i really liked that so let's just you know go let's rewind a little bit and let's go back to the past and let's uh, we'd like to know I think when when did you pick up your guitar you know when did you pick up your guitar how did you develop this interest this thirst towards music okay uh, I started uh, playing uh, music when I was in class uh, 8 right uh, I was in school Nicole's high school so basically Nicole's if you know it uh, there will uh, there are a lot of musicians coming out from a lot of good musicians coming there in the scene now so basically David Goldsmith and those kind of guys so basically 
Nikos is like a musical hub. Oh. Even Don Bosco. So basically, it's a musical. So basically, what happened is that I got inspired by my seniors. Kid, okay, like people are like jamming, people are doing shows and all in school. Right. So I got inspired like that, and I started singing back then. I didn't uh, play guitar till class ten. So basically, class eight, I started singing. I started singing really bad, <laughs> so uh, I had no training basically. So it was like class eight. We used to sing Sound '69, and then Adad was out back then. So basically, yeah. So, much, uh, like <laughs> so, so you both have known each other since school? Uh, no, uh, we we know, we have known uh, since 2010, 2010 right? Uh, nine, ten, I guess. Yeah, That's nine, ten. That's still a very long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Then eleven, we formed the band, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah eleven, we formed the band. And he started. Uh, he was m- more uh, older to me in like uh, musical wise in the scene than me. Uh, I came in little late. I came in around 2009, right? Because he was uh, he was before that. He was in 2007, kind of. Before thing. I used to play like heavy metal kind of things. Yeah, he was a metal. Uh, that's why he used to like. Uh, Chal yeah, let's play together some heavy shit. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, those are you no know, like. And we 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 uh, we have this song in our album uh, 2013 that was Panchi Pukare. Yeah. That was really heavy song. Like we made it, he made it in his like I don't know what he did, some magic, magic kind of thing. So that was his credit. Like okay, um, and I'm so intrigued to listen to more of your music. Yeah. I mean, of course, the conversation will continue, but yes. we just got one small glimpse of the kind of songs you sing, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of your fans, people who like your kind of music, are also watching right now and they're longing for more. So if we can just quickly have one more number. Yeah, okay. We're, we're gonna do that song, Panchi Pogara, but in our this is the first time people has heard this soft number. Ever. Because normally this is a really heavy. So you're gonna song, do like an acoustic version yeah, yeah, of yeah, Panchi yeah. Pokari. Yeah. All right, original number. Yeah. Oh, raste jis pe hum chal diye, kaash wo. जिस पे हम चल दिए काश वो घूमना होते heavy number i mean even the yeah. lyrics were very heavy yeah. thought provoking yeah. i really really liked it so panchi pukare it's basically right. um, panchi is about dreams so basically dreams. it's uh, like uh, it's like the dreams are calling you so every single line on that is like the dreams are so was this uh, does this reflect a phase of your life that yeah. you were going through it is it is it so is. who re- wrote the lyrics of the song he wrote the lyrics 
Okay, so uh, Nabajit, if you can just tell our uh, viewers, was it a very personal moment of your life that you were exactly going through? Not exactly personal, but again, this was like uh, the band was going through some moments because back right. then, back then, like uh, to be quite honest, uh, now we have all these kind of channels and all. Like back then, we had channels, but again, uh, they were not band like focused. Like they were very more true. into like mm, that, like the as much uh, like single solo singers kind of thing. So now it's coming up. The scene is coming. A lot of festivals are going on now, like music festivals. So that was a time where, like, we used to like think, okay, let's do something. In what should we do? Like, uh, so those kind of feelings, mixed feelings, kind of. So let's play some songs on that. So I was sitting one night, like, let's say, and Punchy is like dreams, so basically flying, and Punchy is like blue wings, covering, and that Punchy it it matches right. somehow. So let's play a song. Let's make a song like that. So Punchy Bukare was there, and he had that uh, because normally, if you listen to the ambitry of the song, there's a very huge riff kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's really heavy, and that he has composed in 2006 or seven like that, and it was not used. So basically, I came in. I said, let's let's use that thing. Yeah, like so. And then you combined it all yeah, together. Yeah. So that music came up, and my lyrics came up, and like it just. And it has a really good uh, downloading like rates, you know. On a, back then, like we had good down, the song was downloaded well. You know? And I'm sure after today, more people are going <laughs> to be coming to know about the show. So your downloading rates are going to go up even more, yeah. definitely. So if if we could have the privilege of listening to one of the original numbers, yeah. I think that you have you know written. Okay. We we, we listened to one of them, yeah. and I loved it so much. <coughs> the lyrics were original. They came straight from the heart because it's you know you've written it yourself. Yeah. So there, there was there was one more song right. which uh, there's actually a uh, it was not actually meant to be a love song but people had made it people made it yeah, a love, yeah, song. love song okay. I don't know why uh, this is uh, I'm, I don't know if I can make this song justice because it's a morning time so let's see what happens there's up to Durni the song name is up to Durni so when I wrote it I was like up to Durni is like all our dreams because basically our maximum mm -hmm. more of the songs are like about your dreams dreams and, and, dreams and like desires that. and all these kind of things so. And then this, this sounded like a love song, so basically. So I your listeners know. made it into yeah, a love yeah, song. Yeah, exactly. That's interesting. That's that's great. Oh, so, so mad. 
that was I think definitely my favorite so far. You know, there were so many visuals that were coming to my yeah. mind as I was listening to that song. I could imagine a boy chasing his dreams. Yeah. I could also imagine yeah. a pre a boy uh, chasing his girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's the beauty of it. It's open to interpretation. Yeah. And so your listeners made it something else. You wrote it with a different intention yeah. as well. Yeah. But I think that's the beauty of art. You know, it takes a different shape yeah. every time a listener listens to it's, it. Yeah, I always say that uh, a song is always a good song when people take it in their own style and like, inter way. interpret it in their own style. You know, like yeah. so. And uh, you see a lot of great songs. It all the interpretation, like it's always like matters. You know, like uh, songs like "Stay with Heaven" and all those right. kind of classic numbers. Like uh, actually, the song was written for something else, and then people take it in their own style. Right. So, uh, it's uh, we love that thing about music. You know, like and even not just music, any art. You know, like any form of art. Very true. Whatever, yeah, like so uh, you know, quickly, if you can just tell our viewers because we're running short of yeah. time, and I wish we could chit chat a little longer. But right now, I think our viewers would like to know what are your plans ahead? Where can they see you perform? If this is a good platform. <laughs> Yeah. to tell them where they can find blue wings. yeah first of all basically i'd like to thank uh, notice life for this amazing amazing thing that they're doing you know We're like, glad you yeah, came you guys are amazing mm -hmm. and like uh, you are giving like uh, platform to the, all the artists like uh, so and like uh, for uh, we are we are in facebook so basically um, blue wings is the name of the facebook page and then apart from that, our videos are in YouTube. Blue Wings Official is the name of the YouTube page. Right. So you guys can check it out. And of course, we have an album out. Like we are working on an album. Uh, hopefully a new music video will be out uh, next month. On YouTube? Uh, yeah, on YouTube. Okay, so that's something we yeah, need to watch yeah. out for. A so new video by Blue Wings. Yeah, so that's some. We, we are yet to name the song because right. it has just completed, we just completed the recording and okay. we are going to name that song prof uh, perfectly. And then the video is coming up. Coming out. Hopefully we'll end up the shooting by next month. And we'll okay, it. that's great. All the very best to Blue thank Wings. So Nabajit, Dibakar, thank you so much for coming on the show. We had such thank a you. wonderful time. Thank I enjoyed so your kind of music. Never heard before and we've got a lot of depth and I'm sure our listeners enjoyed as well. So all the best for whatever you've got lined Thank up you so for you much. in the days to come. Thank you so much. All right, viewers, with that, we've come to the end of this episode of Good Morning Northeast.